Saving Lives has been WSAV's mission for 21 years now. News 3's Tina Taya Shaw has been passionate about sharing that message of monthly breath self exams and mammograms with our Buddy Check 3 program. Today is a big day because for the first time we are taking Buddy Check 3 on the road. Tina joins us now from Optum Medical Center Screven with why she's there. Good morning, Tina. Good morning to you, Cam. Good morning to everyone watching as well. This is an important day. We have been teaming with St. Joseph's Candler for 21 years now to help raise awareness about the importance of breast health. And I got to tell you, it's been an amazing journey. 21 young, long years helping women, saving lives. We do know that early detection is the key. So I want you to take a look here as my photographer, Hannah, shows you this 36 foot long mobile mammography bus the screen machine all about helping to save lives and all brought to you by st joseph's candler let's go inside and give you an idea of what a woman can expect when she gets a mammogram on this bus it is equipped with top notch top of the line 3d technology and as I mentioned, more than 12 women will enter the doors this morning and have their mammogram. I got an opportunity to show you video of Ellen Burke. That's what you're seeing right now. She had her mammogram within the last hour, and she told me she heard about today's mammography event by watching WSAV, and she desperately needed her mammogram. Here's why. Um, I've been experiencing some pain in some areas um, around my breast, so I just felt like I needed to come in. I mean, it's a very small area, small town, so I'm very thankful that they were in our area because it takes me about an hour and a half to get to Savannah from the area. So, and I am, I'm uninsured, so I was very thankful that they were here. Very thankful that the mobile mammography bus is here. So many women like Ellen saying the very same words. Joining me right now is Legina Evans. She's the CEO here at Optum Medical Scriven. And Legina, this is a great opportunity for women to have mammography technicians to come to them. That's correct. Um, in a rural area such as this, in a community where transportation is such a challenge for a lot of our patients, to be able to bring this service and this intervention, really preventive intervention, to our community is, can, is just life-saving for many of our patients. Mm -hmm. What happens after the diagnosis if, in fact, there is one? So, um, I myself um, had my mammography here. So very quickly and very uh, timely do these patients get feedback about what is found and then can move on to the next steps and move on to care and we can get them the care that they need. You know, Legina, we hear so often about rural communities having a shortage of doctors, not having the health care that they need. That's correct. With the mammography unit, coming here since 2013, this is huge, correct? Oh, oh, absolutely. Like you said, you know, what we have found um, over the years is that uh, early intervention with breast cancer is almost the key. That That is number one, just about. So having this uh, availability for our uh, community to be able to come here, we have great rural health uh, centers here and prevention is a big deal for us and being able to offer this service for our patients. Okay. Anything you'd like to add as we begin to wrap up this interview? We want to thank you also for having us today. Thank you. We, we appreciate you being here. Um, we just appreciate St. Joseph's bringing this. Um, these, uh, their staff is incredible. They're so good with the patients, treat our patients so well. And like I said, I myself personally have used this mammography unit and uh, just such an incredible experience. Okay. 
Okay. Legina Evans, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We will have more coming up uh, later this afternoon on News 3 at 6. We'll share interviews with some of the doctors here, talk to a couple more patients as well, and bring this moment full circle because early detection saves lives. And that is what WSAV and St. Joseph's Candler's partnership is all about. Kim, back to you. Certainly is. Thanks a lot, Tina. Our Buddy Check 3 program is a monthly reminder to do a breath self-exam and tell your friends to do the same. We have helpful information about that on our website at WSAV.com slash BuddyCheck3.